What is up guys and welcome back to the channel and today I'm delighted to mix things up a little bit and jump back onto the MPC Live 2. I'm going to be showing you how you can stack samples on this device. It's an extremely useful feature. We actually have it on the SP404 Mark II as well. It's called Padlink. On the MPC it's called Simultaneous Play. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it and also I'm going to give you a couple of examples that you can use in your beats as well. So hopefully you learn a couple of things from this video. Just before we start guys, I've noticed that when I get more comments on my videos they seem to perform better. So I'm going to start Start this video by asking you a question. Do you own an Akai bit of gear or are you just an SP head at the moment? Let me know in the comments below and would you like to pick up some Akai gear if you haven't got some already? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So leave a comment below and hopefully it'll help with my engagement as well. That's really, really appreciated. Okay, let's get down to the device and let's talk about this functionality. Right guys, so here we are at the device and this is pretty easy to set up and it's extremely powerful. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, there's a number of different ways that this can be utilized. I'm going to show you a couple of examples which are really, really simple but really effective and hopefully you can apply these to your beat making. So not only are you going to learn how to do this, you're going to learn a couple of ways that it can be applied to your beats as well. So to start off, I just want to show you that I have got a few samples loaded in here. I've got a kick from my Hip Hop Drums Volume 1 pack. And the reason that I want to use this is because a lot of the times with kind of acoustic-y sounding drums like this, uh, these drums in this particular pack are all chopped from drum breaks from records. So sometimes you do get these quite soft sounding kicks like this. And they need beefing up, they need a bit more in them. So what I've done for this video, I've grabbed another kick from my Lo-Fi Drums Volume 4 pack, which is a completely separate kick, and I'm going to layer that over the top. Now, all these packs are available on spvids.com if you're interested in picking them up. It supports what I do here, and it is greatly appreciated. So basically, what we're going to go for is these two together like this. So this is the Hip Hop Drums Volume 1 kick on its own. And this is the kick from Lo-Fi Drums Volume 4 on its own. So very different in sound. And then together, we get a much thicker sound. But we don't have to press both of them like that. And that's where this functionality comes in useful. So we'll go to Menu. And we want to go to Program Edit, which is at the top here. I can just click the screen like that. And what I'm going to do is make sure that Pad 1 is highlighted here. So I'll just press that, you can see it's got the green ring around it. And you can see over here, if I use the Q-Link to move across, we've got a column that says simultaneous play. Now we can have up to four extra sounds stacked on top of this pad, which is really, really powerful and really useful. For this particular example, right now, I'm just gonna show you one, and then later on, I'm gonna show you two stacked. So first of all, what we're gonna do is stack this other kick on the top and if you could see from before it was on pad 5 the kick that we wanted to layer on the top so we're playing pad 1 and we want pad 5 to trigger at the same time so I'm going to use the first dial and we're going to go to A5 it's quite sensitive that but I've got it there and now if we play that you can hear that both of those are triggering at the same time if I turn that off again you can hear it sounds a bit weak if I put it back on we get a lot more oomph behind this kick. That sounds so much better already. So we could go ahead and go into mix. And if we want to get a bit more of, say, the kick from Lo-Fi Drums Volume 4 instead of the acoustic kit, what I might do is just move the volume of the Hip Hop Drums Volume 1 kick down a bit. And if we wanted more character, if we wanted more of that acoustic sound, maybe we could increase the volume of that. So there we go, that's quite a nice mix like that. So we're getting a really nice thick sound there, but it's getting a lot of character in it as well. So let's go back to main here, and I've got this tiny little bit of noise. You can hear there, it's really, really quick. But what I'm gonna do is use that as another layer on top of these kicks, and that will add even more character. So again, this is from one of my packs. This is from Lo-Fi Drums Volume 3, so I'm using quite a lot of my packs in this video, but all oh, good advertising, isn't it? So I've got a bit of Texture 5, so basically I loaded in Texture 5 and then cut it really short. So we just get that like that. If we go to the sample editor, you can see, really, really short. And you could change the tuning and everything in that area as well if you wanted to uh, customize it a little bit. So we'll choose Pad 1 again, and we'll go back into Menu, and we're gonna go back into that Program Edit, and this time I'm going to use dial 2, so you can see that each slot applies to these dials down the side, which makes it super easy. And that was pad 6, so we need A6 in this second one. So there we go. We've got pad 1, which is AO1, 
AO5 and AO6 are all going to be triggering at the same time now just from pressing this one pad. So there we go, that sounds pretty crazy. The noise is a bit loud, so let's go back into mix. And you can see all three are triggering there. And we'll press Q-Link to get up to this second row. And I'm gonna turn the texture down a little bit. Something like that sounds quite nice. And there we go, we've got three samples layered there. We've really improved the sound of the original kick by thickening it up with that kick from Lo-Fi Drums Volume 4. And then we've added that texture on the top as well, just to give it a bit more flavor. And yeah, overall, it just adds a lot of character and makes everything sound a little bit sweeter. And there we go, guys. That's it for this one. That's simultaneous play on the MPC. And there's a couple of examples of how you can use it to really, really good effect as well. You can go mad with this and get really, really creative. So don't let my ideas be the only thing that you try. Try and come up with your own stuff and see where you can take it. It's a really powerful piece of functionality, even though it's really simple. So definitely make use of it. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the MPC content and I will be back with more content very, very soon. Stay safe, keep making beats. I'll see you all in the next one.